1K, we back at it with that 1K TV, man. We got a very special guest today, man, my Uncle Rob, man, straight out of Chicago, straight to the old town, so you know what it is, man. I got a couple questions for you today, Up. Uh. Bring it on, brother. Bring it on, bring it on. Look, man, my first question, man, I got to ask this, man. What you think, What what what's your feeling and what's your reaction for moving from Chicago, knowing where the violence be at? To a little, little small town, you know what I'm saying, with the with the mosquitoes and the flies. Yeah, what you, what, what's well, your... you know, Chicago, Chicago is not a safe place right now, you know, yeah. and um, it's a bunch of killings going on, you know, un ridiculous killings. Um, I think I made the best choice by moving here because it's more peaceful. Facts. The people are more happier. Facts. Um, down there, people are always mad. You step on somebody's shoe, they want to fight you. It's like that, huh? Oh, yeah, it's they, like that, man. So, so I had to get away from that. Yeah, so they basically getting into it. They basically getting into it about, like, small shit. Like, I heard you telling me the other day, man, how uh people like, oh, geez, can't even sit in their cars no more. Um, like, they, they they walking up to the cars and pulling people back, man. Man, you can't even sit in your car and goddamn drink a beer and smoke a joint or something. How long, how long you been in that Chicago, man? How long you been living in Chicago? I've been in Chicago for like 30 years. 30 years? Yeah. So you pretty much the same. I stayed in the projects for 27 years. For 27 years? Yeah. So you pretty much seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. I seen it all. Man, what was, what was one of the craziest things that you could, that you remember to this day that you could, that you could tell us, man? What was one of the Man, getting stuck up on the elevator. They, they robbed you on the elevator? They pulled out the guns on the elevator with everybody on the elevator. Damn, everybody. Ten people on the elevator. And Three niggas got guns. Damn, three days so they they So they got to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh my gosh, they got to fight and then somebody got to unstuck the uh elevator and they, and the door opened and they pushed them all everybody off and we closed the door and went on up. So y'all went on up. That was one of the crazy Man, that was one of that was a crazy moment because you know that was a sawed off shotgun right at my head and I was a kid at the time. Damn, how old was you? Like 12. 12 years old? Damn. Yeah. So that 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 that, that type of crazy activity been going on for a minute then, huh? Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Man, it been going on forever. It been going on forever. Man, uh, how, 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 like, for your family, you feel me, like, for your moms, yo, like, how, how was the upbringing down there, man? How, how did your mom think about how can she can make it better for y'all and shit? Well, my mom, you know, she, um, my mom raised us by herself. As a single parent. As a single parent. You know what I'm saying? So my mama was strong because she had five girls and one son. Yeah. And she raised me to be a man and she raised my sisters to be strong women. Strong women. Say strong, strong. mind and strong willed. Yeah, strong. Yeah. So how did how did that on the on the other hand, how did that affect your uh like how did being that your mom was a single mom living in Chicago, how did that affect your household? That affect my household by my sisters had fathers, their fathers coming over, and my father never came over. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was like a little jealous about that damn right. shit. Like, so right. what? That's your damn father. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say, it, it, What's it, your it, damn father? It, your father don't give me shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, if you don't mind me asking, man, uh, so how was you and your father relationship? Well, me and my father never really had. We, we finally got a chance to, to, talk face to face yeah. for the first time I was like 45 years old. Yeah. Oh damn, so it's been a minute since you really actually I seen it. my father before. Yeah. But I never really talked to my father. Yeah, so would yeah. you say that relationship was really it wasn't found that it as it is supposed to have been No, he had a relationship with my sister, so how he communicated with me through my sister. Through your sister. So how was you and your mom relationship then? Oh we we as tight as Two peas in a pot. Same your mom was your best friend, that was huh? That's my best friend. Man, I miss her daily. Daddy, oh, she, oh, man. Uh, she's going to heaven right man, now. Man, so uh, rest in peace, man. So yeah. rest in peace, man. So uh, let me ask you another question, man. So how was your relationship with your sisters being that, you know what I'm saying, y'all all growing up from the same area and being that y'all was exposed to that, that, that troubled lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Like, man. What, what was the, what was the, what was the, what was the difficult routes and what was the difficult roles and like, how was it? Like, was it easy for y'all to, you know what I'm saying, mentally for yourself to feel like that y'all wanted to see? Was it hard for y'all to still reach our goal? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard today to reach your goal. But when I was growing up, I got five sisters. Imagine having five sisters, right. pretty sisters, right? and you the only boy. 
Damn. So you know you're going to have to humbug somebody. <laughs> don't mess with your damn sister. Big fact. So, and they're going to come and get you. Yeah, hell yeah. So was, it, was that like... You had to fight all your life. You know man, I had to fight when I, I had to fight so much, man, that I thought I wasn't gonna make it to C21. Damn, that's nice. that's how bad it was with. Hey, hey Rob, your somebody, your sister fighting. Oh, hey Rob, somebody jumping on your sister. Hey Rob. Damn. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm gonna get. So what? What neck of the woods? Like, be, I know that you moving down the line and shit, but what neck of the woods that you did reside in when you was living down there? What what neighborhood was that was? In um, Chicago. Yeah, in Chicago. Southside crazy, goddamn. Ah, oh, shit, Southside crazy. 79. Are you was on 79? 79. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. So, man, what you, what, 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 uh, could you give us a little insight about how, how 79, you know what I'm saying? It's the crazy South, man. You know, you want to see New Jack City? Go on 79 in Asheville. Say 79 to Asheville. That's huh? New Jack City. Was you ever game banging? Like, no, I never game banged, but I, I always hung, I, I was always cool with. All of them. Say all oh, is cool. All the games. So basically, you was, you was, you know, new, like what they call it. I was neutral, neutron, neutron, but hey, I was one of the big brothers. Facts, facts, like OG in the hood. Yeah. Big facts, big facts. So it was a lot of, it was a lot of, uh, a lot of knowledge that you done picked up. You know what I'm saying? Growing up in your neighborhood. How, was you living out on 79 all your life? Oh, uh, no. I just stayed on 79, like, um, maybe 10 years. 10 years? Uh, so, so let me ask you another question, man. Would you? That ain't no place you. It ain't even no need for me to ask you this, but that was no place for you to allow your kids to grow up, huh? That's correct, man. Yeah, that's, that's, man, that, you know, you on 79, you never know what gonna happen on that day. Yeah. So you know, you if you can get off 79 alive, just thank God. Thank God. Because it's just that crazy. Anything can happen. You could just be going to get some gas. Yeah. And somebody will come up in the filler station and shoot you. You it's know. Like, Damn. So it's it's just that bad. Shit. Yeah. It's just that bad. It, it's just it's it's not gangs. It's these it's, it's these little guys getting crews. They yeah. getting their little cliques. They like 10, 12 of them. All of them. Everybody getting twelve people together. Yeah. And getting little cliques, and they all hang together. Damn, so it ain't, it ain't even it ain't even no more structure even within the game because it's just all, it's just, it ain't no, would you say it's structure? Would you say it's structure to this day? No, man, they, they, they need structure, though, but say it, it's going to take a while, man. They they got to get it together, man, or our young generation going to be fucked up. Yeah, hell yeah, I was just going to ask you that, man. If you could set some rules and you could set, you know what I'm saying, some guidance for the young generation, what would what would be the main thing you would tell a young generation for them to get their shit together, man? i tell them to stay in school. Stay in school. Learn what you learn it in school. Yeah, yeah. Um, and stay in school and go to college. Go to college just as long as you can because there's nothing more than money in this world. You know, like, if you can get it, and you at that age, and you're young, and you and you like school, and you like going to school, and you like going to college, you can right. become anything you want to become, right. and make hundreds of thousands of dollars every two weeks or. Man, man, that's, that's a lot of money. That's man. some good ass money. Man, some people making that. So what? 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 <coughs> can I ask you this, man. What's the difference between opportunity living in Ohio and the opportunity living in Chicago? Well, I'm just I'm just starting right now, so. Um, you gotta give me a, a minute for that. Yeah, I know see. I have lived down here like yeah. about 20 years ago, yeah. and I stayed for five years, and I did pretty well down here. Yeah. So, so would you say that Ohio was a place for like where all the OGs, you know, say settle down their settle life? Settle down and relax and, yeah. and chill out. It's, it, it, this is where you uh, retire at. Yeah, hell yeah. And that's what I'm finna do, retire. So, man, what you thinking about that uh, the coronavirus epidemic in Chicago, man, and how hard it's hit, man? What you think about that? Man, people got to take it serious, man. Um, the young generation is not taking it serious, man. I mean, why your mask? Why your mask in your house? Because yeah. Chicago is a hot spot. Facts, Chicago fact. is a hot spot. So, and 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 wash your hands and and sanitize your, your hands and all that. Yeah. Everything that you touch, you wash your hands. If facts. you come in the house, you take your clothes off. You wash your clothes. Facts, facts, man. So, uh, let me ask you this other question, man. The epidemic between the violence and the epidemic between all this little COVID-19 and this plague going on, which one would you consider more worse? Like, what, what, more, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, which one hit the hard, hit hardest, hit the home hardest? The COVID-19 or the violence or 
Scratch that. Would you say the violence still as high as it was, being that this COVID nineteen in Chicago? Do you do you think that the, the no the violence have went down it since went the down. COVID, but it's still going on. See, yeah. it's always at, at one time the weekends was right. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, huh? So, uh, man, let me get a little bit about my. That's my fault. Uh, man, let me ask you this: systematically. What do you think that the, the the law system is doing to help better, you know what I'm saying, the the, the violence, you know what I'm saying, the schooling, you know what I'm saying? like Man, right now, there's nothing they can really do but just do their jobs because, um, you know, this COVID got everything closed. They can't go to school. So the good thing about this is the kids can stay in the house now and they won't be out there in that mess. Yeah, true, you know what true. I'm saying? That was going on. That's going on up there. Yeah. Man, it's crazy up there. I'm telling you. Was it, was, you think it's, you think it's, uh, you know what I'm saying? Being that, you know, when the schools was and was it violence going on within the schools? Man, it's, man, go to school, man. Kids getting shot up in schools. Damn, they shooting in schools. They shooting in schools, yeah. Man, they bring guns to schools, girls. Damn, damn, the girls is? Yeah, the girls. The girls carry guns now. Man, how would you say that? I mean, being that we speaking on the, the girls, man, how 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 would the young lady generation down there, man? Man, I don't mess with them. Don't mess with them. <laughs> is, it, is it a set of artists to that? I'm back at that. Say hi and bye, huh? <laughs> <laughs> man, what, uh, man, what, could, could you, uh, could you, uh, Exonerate on, on some situations, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that you personally, but, you know what I'm saying, hearing from your nieces and nephews and all that, like, what was the most craziest thing you heard involving the young ladies in, in you know what I'm saying, in Chicago? What was the most craziest thing you heard, man? Well, 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 a young lady went to a party like about five of them, dressed gorgeous as hell, looking so suave, yeah. with guns inside their motherfucking girdle belt right there. Damn. In that's... the party. And when they gets to the party, they coming in, and they see it, they saw a little, another lady. Now, these ladies in their 30s, man. Right. They in their 30s. Damn. So they, they they swinging, they they knocking women out. Damn, so they pretty they pretty much been been through that little fame. They humbuckers. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, man. man I'm telling you, man. What about it's the, not only the girls, it's the guys, it's both of them. They just just totally messed up, man. And we need Jesus. God is, huh? Hell God yeah, got helped up, yeah. man. For sure, man. So, well, what would be one of the things that you would tell the young the young lady generation that's up and coming? That you know, what I'm saying, what words can you get them? I'll get them to stop the violence and stop trying to be bad because women cannot beat men. Right. No woman cannot, well, I don't know, but it, no woman is stronger than the man. The man. Okay. Women are not stronger than men. Right. Men are, we are here created to be stronger than them. Right. I know they probably can, some women probably can outlift men. Right. But what I'm saying is that men are stronger than women. Yeah. And women are meaner than men. Yeah. And they'll come at us and fight us. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. I totally agree with you on that. Man. I feel if you fight me, I can fight your ass back. <laughs> shit. <coughs> oh, shit. Hey. Of, hey, shit. I ain't, I ain't ever came at you. You coming at me, swinging at me. So if you hit me and hurt me, I'm, I'm going to give you one to feel too. Yeah, big facts. I respect that. Uh, listen, man, so... Before, before this video, we didn't flew, we didn't flew past the little ten minute yeah, mark. Yeah, we went past. I'm in. But um, you see the red light on. Yeah, yeah. Look, before I move, before we start this video, man. Before we start this video, man. Uh, could you give us uh, could you give us like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 insight on, you know what I'm saying? What you looking to accomplish? Here in Lima, I mean, Lima. And, and what you looking forward to leave behind from Chicago? I'm willing. I'm willing. I came to Lima to change my life, to to better my life, Thanks. to to ease my mind, to get my mind at peace. Because it's, it's you just in Chicago, you just always gotta expect the unexpected. So you always looking out. No matter what, 
So you don't have to do it here. Like I got a habit of I'm looking always looking out the window or looking checking the doors and stuff like that. Yeah. But that's just what you have to do in Chicago. Facts. Here you can leave your doors unlocked and you still will wake up the next day. In Chicago you may not. Yeah, it's in Chicago. It's so, it's more of crazy, but this that shit is wild down there. And it's wild, man. For Be real. Before we end this video, man, could you give your boy a shout out on the on the on the one K T V? Can I give my boy K one K one Lazenby. K one Lazenby a <laughs> shout out. <laughs> shout out to the house. Shout out in the house, man. Lime up. So, man, before we end this video, man, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. We definitely need y'all to motherfucking uh, tap in on this, man. Yeah, tap definitely. in on this shit, definitely man. Give Come us on. A, yeah, tap in, man, Let's man. get let's a group get thing. Let's get it going, man. Let's get it going, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. It's your boy 1K, 